healing potions. Even after you find all these daft ingredients, they can still go wrong. Then I is guessing you'll be interested in this. Box of cheap tricks for sale. Just add fire and, hey, presto! Magic's never been so easy. Offer not available to goblins. What do you think, mistress? There you go. Slightly flood damage, but that's why it's cheap. Oh, no! All the labels is washed off the powdered potions. How am I supposed to know what they do with no labels? Oh, well, nothing else for it. I'll have to take them back. Sorry, I told you there were flood damage. Solve as seen. Oh, guess we're stuck with them. Throw them away. Magic without knowledge is dangerous thing. I can't just throw them away. I paid for them. It would be wasteful. You is going to regret this. Don't worry. We'll soon find out what these potions do. Get ready to write this down. Oh, nothing. Ah, Hugo! Throw them away! And find a spell to change me back! Oh, don't be such a big softy. Write it down. One pink and fluffy spell. Okay, perhaps you're right. <laughs> but we should at least try to sell them and get our money back. Now, what idiot would buy a big box of unlabeled magic? Besides you, you mean? Instant spells at your fingertips. Just add fire and hey presto! Magic's never been so easy. Offer available right now to goblins. Oh, yeah! Magic kingdom! Uh, 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 uh. Money first. Oh, we haven't got any money. What about this? Or this? Oh, one of these? Hey! That stuff's all mine! You stole it off my dump! Give it back. Oh! Oh, rats! Oh, take the box, then. See if I care. Let them make themselves all pink and fluffy. They deserve it. And me. Am I deserving it? Oh, come on, Puffball. <laughs> Let's consult my good old-fashioned spell book. This one tastes even more disgusting. Can't be as bad as this. Ooh, uh, was that the magic? Ah, oh, these ain't magic. These are rip off. We should take them back. And get our money back, too. But we didn't pay for them. Then we should pay to take them back. Yeah! Hang about. Didn't she say something about adding fire? No, no, Pong. Honestly, I think pink really suits him. You look like a poodle now. Hey, watch it. A piddling little pink poodle. All you need now is a bow on your head. Hello, I'm your neighbour. Could you lend us a cup of fire? Oh, 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 oh. Can't believe you just gave a goblin fire. Oh, where's your sense of fun, Sharky? There's magic in the air. <laughs> That was a pointless potion. Indeed, it would seem so at first glance. But I, for one, feel that that may be jumping to conclusions. Gentlemen, it appears in a fit of fortuitous magic. We've been handed a rare gem and a platter. Intelligence. Quite remarkable. But very welcome. Indeed. Actually, I now realise that it was rather stupid to be casting spells that we couldn't predict. 
the outcome of. I agree with that hypothesis, Slot Bucket. Safety sake, the rest of the spells must be confined to the vicinity of the dump. Why is everybody talking funny? Oh, hey! Get away from there! Stop stealing my rubbish! Let me reassure you, we are doing nothing of the sort. Hey? We're using the dump in the manner appropriate to it. That is, dumping stuff. I say, this is indeed a most unusual hamster. I is having just about enough of this. And is this pink and fluffy condition by any chance the unforeseen result of an unlabeled potion? Well, yes, but... I thought as much. Gentlemen, I suggest we look through this box, as the antidote would surely be sold with the spell as precaution in case of accident. Wow! Oh, how did you think of that? Ah, there are many things that I know now that I never knew before. How true! And then they went through all the unlabeled potions and figured out which one was the antidote to Hugo's little problem. Are you sure you're talking about goblins here, Paul? Just look at Hugo, if you don't believe me. He's not pink anymore, is he? Oh, let's just forget about the whole pink thing, eh? I ain't forgetting. You was pink. Pink like a poodle. Pink, pink, pink. And so, ladies, what we are proposing is effectively a truce with the witches. We would like to work together with you in a spirit of cooperation. In order to bring about a new era of peace, happiness and understanding throughout which way words. This is boring. Well, I can't speak for the rest of the coven, but I can just imagine the look on their faces when they hear about this. You should at least invite them along to a meeting and hear what they have to say. I don't know, Pong Whiffy. I'm still extremely sceptical. Well, so was I, until I met them. They're really quite reasonable now. For goblins. <laughs> Yum. This state-of-the-art central heating system really keeps the cave cosy, Stinkwood. Oh, thank you, Sprogget, but I'm still looking at ways of improving the heat efficiency. Chapter 2. Ivan was an enigma to even the closest of his goblin friends. Six down. Magic with letters. Spelling. Spell, as in magic spell. But of course. I don't feel good. <laughs> Oi. Got a tummy ache. Allow me. Good news, goblins. The witches will see you tonight at our coven meeting. Wonderful. Well, we'd best all have baths and get ready so we can make a good impression. Oh, ugh. I wouldn't bother if I were you. Anyway, see you later. All them portions have given me wind. <laughs> What do you want to do that for? Plug ugly! You're back. And now it gives me no pleasure to announce the special guests which Pong Whiffy and Sharkadder have insisted we invite. Without further ado, the new supposedly intelligent goblins. I'm bored. What are we doing here anyway? Wanna fight? Yeah. All right then. What's wrong? Why are they fighting? Search me. Maybe this is their idea of a sophisticated joke. Why are we waiting? I can't remember what I was going to say, but it had a big word in it. Was it sandwiches? Oh! 